Hi guys, welcome back to Farmers. In this video, I want to give you an update on the masters available in South Africa as promised in the previous video. So stay tuned. Hey peeps, how you doing? Okay, so quick update um oh my gosh you guys i think smu is actually like the best uni for pharmacy in sa and here's why Turns out they're the only institution that offers accredited radio pharmacy on top of all the other stuff. So they have the regular pharmacy, B Farm. They have master's degree um, in philosophy or other um, MSCs, but then they have a MSC in public health for pharmacy, um, which is unique and also radio pharmacy um, masters, which is also unique in the whole entire country. So, you know, they're pretty heavy weights right about now. Um, I wanted to update that Rhodes no longer offers a PharmD, so that's not nice. And also that NMU is like, Never mind. I don't want to. <laughs> if you have nothing good to say, don't say anything at all. Okay, so basically, you guys, it turns out that SMU is actually the business. So do your own research, but here's a heads up go and register at SMU if you want to do any interesting thing in pharmacy. Okay, and then I had a question from one of the students, I guess, who was asking about radio pharmacy. Um, I'll insert it here somewhere. And um, the person was asking, what does a radio pharmacist do? They've never seen somebody that's like called a radio pharmacist or registered as a radio pharmacist. And basically, um, radio pharmacy is like the same almost as nuclear pharmacy just a different name even with oncology pharmacy which is a lot more wider spread or wider used um, and basically it's somebody who deals with the research and the administration and the um, regulations and like the the everything surrounding radio active therapies for oncology patients so in my opinion they usually just end up in oncology pharmacy um, because that's the term people usually know and use um, and in one of my previous <laughs> post positions um, i was an oncology pharmacy at two different centers and um yeah it was us uh, oncology pharmacists we used to review prescriptions from oncologist doctors we used to um, prepare mixes um, for patients um, in one of the well, in both facilities the patients would come in for regular daily treatments whether infusions or whatever and the nurses would administer the mixes that we would mix so sometimes it's like pumps, which they have to like infuse over long hours and they can go home with it. Sometimes it's one or two hours infusions that they get at the facility. Um, and they used to get pre-meds and then the, the um, chemo, some of them would go for radiation. So that's another aspect where um, a radio pharmacist would or could be. Um, it, it's not as much, it doesn't really matter what the scope is in theory, what matters is where the facilities and what they offer because I don't think the in-depth of an actual radio pharmacist scope is available in South Africa yet. Um, there's a lot of strides towards that, but at the moment, not really. There's actually, by the way, Specialized Oncology, it's a really cool business. Um, by my old um, oncology pharmacist mentor, Leila. 
Um, I don't even know if she like wants me to say this or if it's like a whoopsie. But you'll excuse me, girl. Here's a shout out to you. Thanks for showing me the ropes um, when I was at DG. But anyways, um, yeah, so nuclear, radio, or oncology pharmacy are all basically the same. And they deal with oncology patients. So you do have a lot of oncology pharmacists in SA, like a handful or like two handfuls. Because um, it's tight-knit circles and once you know one, you like know all of them. But mm -hmm, that's it. Um, so... I don't know if you guys have any other questions, but to me, this is like the future of pharmacy. Um, other than Northwest that offers the PCDT course, SMU is like pretty lit, you guys. It's like the place to be. So this is not a paid advert. This is just my own opinion. Do your own research. Find out what you want to do and where you want to do it. And then do, do it. Go for it. Um, yeah, so that's my quick update. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you're not yet. Like this video and share it so that other people can see it. Um, we're on our road to 2Ks before Christmas. We only have like a few days left, so please get clicking. And thank you so much for all the usual support and love. I'll see you guys in my next video.